everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm doing the grout work on the tile in the bathroom. I was a little bit delayed in beginning with this work because uh, while I was prepping stuff the other day, if you recall, I said you know I was getting things ready so that I could hit the ground running the next day. Well, uh, one of the things I was uh, doing to prep this stuff is anywhere where the tiles weren't perfectly lined up, because you know slate tiles they're slightly different thicknesses, and you know while I was trying to get them lined up when I was putting the mastic down, sometimes they didn't line up quite uh, perfectly. So I was taking just a little chisel and kind of hitting the edges of things so when it's done, it wouldn't have you know these little edges poking up. And as I was doing that, I noticed I forgot to glue down one of the tiles. It's just behind, it doesn't matter which one, it's some random one. I forgot to glue it down, so I needed to do that, and then, uh, you know, it's been two days that that's been drying. I, you know, I would have liked to have gone three or four days, but I'd also really like to get this stuff done. Uh, you know, 48 hours should be fine. So, uh, you know, I was a little delayed, but now I'm, I'm working on it. And uh, one thing I want to say about this kind of work is that, in my experience, uh, you can be pretty cavalier about it, and as long as you put in some effort in trying to get uh, you know, everything adhering, it seems like it works fine. I've done a number of tile jobs. They've always been A-OK, -okay, absolutely perfect. Um, I've had professionals come and do tiles. Uh, you know, I had one experience. My folks had uh, called some tile people in to do something, and tiles were all crooked. Uh, I, I had some people do a tile job on a, a house that I was uh, getting ready for rental and uh, they didn't put enough mastic underneath. So, you know, I've had a lot of professionals come in and make all sorts of mistakes. I honestly don't even read the instructions on anything. Uh, I just kind of use common sense. And uh, that apparently does a better job than hiring a professional because I've never had any kind of trouble with tiles. So, but I say that because I'm going to be giving you guys advice and I don't know if it's the best advice in the world, but it's uh, just my best guess at things and it seems to work a heck of a lot better than hiring a professional. When I'm uh, putting the grout down, I usually like to uh, take a spray bottle and spray between the tiles because the grout uh, is cement and it gets a, best, a good bond if you get a little dampness so the tiles aren't going to be sucking it, uh, the moisture out of it. And then what I do is I'm just taking the, the grout and I'm just really pushing it down. I get like a glob of it here and then just push it down to try to get it to kind of go under uh, underneath the tiles, and that's just another way of getting a little, little more support under the tiles. And um, really just, you know, as long as you're like not skimping on the work, you know, getting a lot of grout in there, pushing the grout in, you know, in my experience it works out really well, at least better than hiring professionals most of the time. So that's what I'm doing, I'm just starting in the edges, kind of coming in, uh, mixing it up in small batches so I don't uh, have more than I need. And uh, I should easily be able to finish this by the end of the day. Uh, after I get this stuff kind of basically down, I gotta wait like, I don't know, maybe an hour, maybe a little less, something like that. Uh, and then I'm gonna come in with a, a sponge and start kind of cleaning it up a little bit, because this, this is pretty messy, as you can see. It's kind of going everywhere. Uh, but, you know, after maybe a half hour, hour, something like that, I'm gonna come in and start wiping it up, cleaning it up, and, uh, yeah, just uh, probably do two passes like that, because you, you get the bulk of it up, then wait a little longer and then you can kind of come back and kind of get the last little foggy layer of it or so. So that's it. That's what I'm doing today. And it'll be nice to have this uh, set because then we can bring the plumber back in. They can fix their crooked little box there and, uh, you know, we can start finishing up the toilet and all that kind of stuff. We could actually have working plumbing here. Maybe we could take showers here because we don't have hot water back at the temporary house. That's it. Thanks for watching.